Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'd like to start with a quick apology. I haven't been getting these longer in-depth videos out as much as I'd like. Uh, I was hoping that I would be basically every YouTube short I put up, I'd have a longer video with a more in-depth explanation, but life has happened. Many crazy things are going on. Luckily the semester is over and the summer is a little bit more relaxed. I can have um, some more time to do things, but of course, just like life goes, the summer's also starting out a little bit crazy. Anyways, uh, the video I'm going to talk about today is this YouTube short I did on uh, on impulse and inertia. If you haven't seen that yet, you can go ahead and check it out, or you can just stay here. I'm going to do the same demonstration again. We're here in this video. What we're going to discuss is uh, a couple different things. I want to go in a little bit more depth. So the idea is if I pull on the bottom string here slowly, it breaks in a certain place. And if I pull quickly, it breaks in a different place. Let's quickly see where those places are. So first, I'm going to pull slowly. And we can see it broke at the top. OK, so before I pull quickly, let's discuss a little bit about why it broke at the top. Right now in this system, there's tension in these strings. And tension is force being applied to a string, to a rope. And if you think about the tension, the more mass that's hanging, um, the larger the tension. So down here, the tension is the smallest in the string. And as I go up, especially as I go past this big, huge, heavy mass, which is pulling down a lot, the tension is greater. So the tension in this string is the greatest in the top section. Technically, at the very, very top, it's the absolute greatest because you have this small inclusion of the mass of the rope itself that's also pulling down. But this mass is so big that a little bit of rope mass makes not much of a difference. So when I apply more force, then the rope is going to have increased in tension uniformly throughout the system. And the greatest place, again, the greatest tension is up here. So I'm going to have all this force plus all of this. So it's going to break up here where the tension is the greatest. However, something interesting happens when you pull very quickly on the bottom. And that's that it breaks at the bottom. And that's really curious. So what's happening when I pull very quickly is different. There's a few different ways we can think about this. This block has a mass. Newton's second law says F equals MA. And so that means acceleration is related to mass. The larger the mass, the harder it is to change something's velocity, the harder it is to accelerate something. So this has a very large mass. And so when I pull very quickly down here, this mass doesn't want to move. So initially, it resists that change. And if the, if the pull is quick enough, then that change in the, in the resistance of motion is, is so great and the pull is happening so quickly that it doesn't want to go downward. And so just the string breaks down here instead. The other way you can think about this, and it's the same physics, just worded differently, is this thing called impulse. Impulse is the change in momentum of an object or the change in the mass time the velocity. And the way the impulse works is the quicker, shorter the duration that you apply a force on something, right? Um, then the smaller the impulse is. So if I apply a force with a very large time duration, in other words, if I pull down very slowly, I'm imparting a lot of impulse on the system. But if I do it very quickly, it's a very short impulse, right? And that delivers this short force, which is going to break the string at the bottom. But I think the best way to think about this is that this block doesn't want to move up or down. And so if I give it time to do it, then the tension breaks where Sorry, the string breaks where the tension is the greatest. But if I pull very quickly in the bottom, I don't give this thing enough time to even move, then the string is going to break down here because my force down here is pretty great. This hasn't had a chance to move yet, and so this breaks. Let's take a look at both of these in slow motion because I think that'll actually help see this a little better. And slow motion is always cool, right? 